god it's so good to see you on this lovely friday morning and it's so good that i look so good and so pretty but i just wanted to come in here and introduce myself hi guys my name is alex if you're new here this is the alex adams channel i am the woman of the channel and i'd like to welcome you guys to a summer weekend vlog. I have a couple things planned for this weekend. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a good time. But if you guys are wondering, did you get a nose job? What's on your nose? I wish. What I did get are these Mighty Patch nose strips. These are hydrocolloid nose patches and I've been using them religiously and I used one last night and it's time to remove it. So rather than squeezing or picking your nose, which I have trouble with, to be honest, I do it sometimes, this patch itself is actually a lot better for your skin. It naturally absorbs and traps the sebum. Basically, if you're wondering how to use it, last night after my face is freshly clean, then you're going to obviously remove the patch from the packaging and start from the middle and smooth the sides onto your nose so that you're like getting all the little crevices and contouring perfectly to your nose. You should leave it on for about six to eight hours. I slept a while last night, so it's a little bit longer than that. And now we get ready for the removal process. It's very easy, it doesn't hurt, not like the traditional ones, like literally I've ripped skin off my nose before and this is very simple and easy. Now it's time for the magic moment. We peel it off, okay? Here we go. Ta-da! Ooh, all right, let me give you guys a look. Wow, oh my God. You can just see the little dots of oils that have been absorbed from each singular pore in my nose. It's so satisfying. Wow. Something so pleasing to the eye about it. And then obviously, dispose. Now what makes these nose patches different and what makes them so great is that it uses the highest quality hydrocolloid. It won't irritate sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin and you know, it's been two seconds since I removed it and she's great. It also visibly shows that it's working. At the beginning it's transparent and then when you take it off you literally fully see the oils that have been trapped and taken out of your skin. It's 100% safe and FDA approved. Also it's medical grade, vegan and cruelty free. Safe to use if you're pregnant or nursing which I am not. I've been using it for a good couple months and I'm literally so happy with the results. Like I wake up in the morning, my nose is smooth. I'm someone that gets a lot of texture on my skin and I can feel it. Like when I'm washing my face, I can feel like the blackheads in my nose and the sebum and the gunk. And when I wake up in the morning after using these, my nose is smooth, my skin feels soft and I can visually see less imperfections on my nose. It's a win-win because you basically have to do nothing but sleep and you wake up and you're cute. So if you're interested in grabbing the Mighty patch nose by Hero Cosmetics. You can click below in the description and use my code Alex Adams for 15% off site wide plus free shipping on any order over $35. It is such a game changer, especially if you suffer from clogged pores, which I'm sure a lot of us do. So like I said, don't forget to click on that link. The best deal you'll ever get, better than Amazon. All right, now that my skin is amazing, looking good, I'm ready to kill the day. <laughs> I'm ready to murder the day. I'm ready to go. Let's figure out what we're doing today. Okay, so I figured out what I'm gonna do today. I am seeing my friend, so I'm gonna go get some coffee with her. We'll see where the day takes us. This is what my summer's really consisted of, is like absolutely no actual plans being made, but for the most part, just winging it. <laughs> just winging my day-to-day -day life. What do you guys think about my fresh tan that I have? I've been to the beach so much this year that I feel like I'm a golden goddess. Am I? You tell me. Wow, I look like a homeless woman. Okay, let's ignore that. Hey guys. Hey! We got our drinks. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Grande shaken espresso vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Mmm. She did a good job. What was her name? <laughs> Jaden. Jaden killed it. Did I ever make a drink for you? Have you ever drink a drink I made for you? Not coffee though. It was your little peach with a little pomegranate seed. Oh, I didn't make that. You told me you did. <laughs> no, I'm saying I watched it be made. And you I told me you made it. <laughs> that little, that, <laughs> I told you that little speck. I said, no, <laughs> that was literally a dragon fruit piece. I promise you. You said you made it. it. <laughs> it was like a nice flick of dirt or a bug. It was a dragon fruit piece. I make those drinks. I all drank the whole thing. <laughs> I know what that was. Okay, tell your fucking story. Okay, so anyways, so I work at Starbucks and we work beside a pizza place. So we have, when we have, 
I didn't want that piece of ice. Oh my god, my battery's already dying. Do you have backup? Nope. You're gonna have to stop at your house and get a backup? I don't have one. Cool. So basically, um, uh, well, our store gets boxes for the food. They put it into one big box and put all the little boxes folded up so beautifully. I did garbage that day. I don't always do garbage, but I did a garbage that day. And I put it, I didn't know this. I honestly did not know this. If I did, I would not have done it. But I took the whole box and tossed it into the garbage. All of a sudden, I forget about it, whatever. So I'm doing drive through and all of a sudden, I hear someone say, is your, like, drive through open? I was like, what? So they come to the window. They're like, hey, you have a bunch of boxes, like, co closing your drive through And I was like, what? What? Someone went into the garbage, picked up that box that I threw into the garbage, and put it right on our drive-thru. So we Someone from the pizza place? Yeah. And I'm like, hey, first of all, that's the pettiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that is a little disrespectful. That's so petty. You Maybe. know what you should do? What? Grab their little boxes, put it in the right in the front of the door of the entrance. <laughs> Child is awake. Okay, yeah, she's not. Wow, look at the time. It's kind of really late. By the way, I'm wearing pants. I just can't see them. Oh, let's call my friend. Ooh, there's a nice little tart. I don't know what it is. Good morning. Hello, I'm so fat. Why? I work today and I'm trying to get my shift covered and it's not working. Oh shit, till what time? Midnight. Yo, Marlon. What are you gonna do? Pray to God right now, Alex. Okay, I'm manifesting. Hold on. Okay, you're good. I can feel it. Okay, so not great news from my friend Marlon. We're celebrating his sister's birthday tonight and now he's saying that he has to work. I mean, that's life. Okay, so I think that this is pecan little tart. So I'm gonna eat that for breakfast. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do today. Like I said, we have a little birthday dinner to go to. We're going downtown. That's gonna be later on in the day. Personally, I don't really have plans for today. I was kind of just planning on... I don't know what I was planning on doing, actually. Ooh, look at my son. Hold on, Marla's sweet something. Hi, princess. Oh, I forgot you guys were there. Okay, let me tell you my dream right quick. So I was at our house. I was walking out with one of my friends and he was just like, oh, I forgot something in your house. So I had to walk back. I was like, okay, meet me in my car. I'm going to go back into my house, grab what you need, and then come back out. All of a sudden, I go into my house. There's a Filipino birthday party happening, specifically Eric's birthday <laughs> at our house with our whole entire Filipino family. Like cookout, like lichon you know <laughs> and i was like having the time of my life and i was like okay i gotta go guys i'm going to blue mountain i was planning with nikki to go to blue mountain what form of transportation did i take there parachute <laughs> so i'm up in the air i'm using these thingies to like direct me and yeah. going up and down directly up into the top of the mountain and then i couldn't remember how to dislaunch and how to get myself back on the ground so i was like unbuckling myself and fell into the snow all of a sudden i get inside my cottage in Blue Mountain and I realized I never told Nikki that I was on my way so she is not even coming so I was there by myself and then I also forgot to go back to my friend and give him this thing back so he called me and he was just like where the hell are you it's been like two days <laughs> oh my neck hurts so much I literally gave myself a splitting neck pain because I looked to the left. Why am I built like an old woman? It's outfit time! I have a couple ideas of what I want to wear. No idea what vibe I want to go for, which is the issue, right? Potentially some little booties, but that's if I want to dress up. Because we are just going to dinner, but like, honestly, I could do whatever. I could go for a more casual vibe. I could wear some jeans. I could do some sneakers with like a cute top. We're going to try this first. I want to do this little black top. Some baggy black jeans. I don't love it. Let's try a skirt. It's giving bottle service girl. Okay, so not this either. I have this, but it's giving much more daytime vibes because the colors are lighter, brighter, and we're going out to an evening dinner. Or I have this little 
this little top too. It's like I can either go too casual or ugh, too formal. I can't find an in-between. Okay, this is how this looks with these jeans. Let me try some different jeans. Okay, unfortunately I don't even like this. Yo, this is not going swell for Alex. Okay, I didn't button the pants up all the way. I don't know if I'm just hating myself extra today, but I don't like anything that I'm putting on. We're trying to pants. figure out my outfit. Um, I turns out I have a second sister to help me. This is what we have right now, and I don't know if I like it. Hmm. Later today, the girl called me again. I feel ugly. Yeah, that's kind of lame. They came at me with a surprise and didn't. I don't. I don't like group interviews either. Okay, I'll let you guys know what I end up wearing. <laughs> breakfast but I also felt like eating a little nectarine yesterday was super funsies very cute fun dinner good vibes also yes my sister was there because the birthday girl's friends with my sister too yeah she wasn't drinking I was drinking though and I'm a little hungover. I got a nice little backyard day party vibe to go to in a couple hours actually because I slept my whole day away. Okay, time for me to turn into a respectable adult woman. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth, and get ready to go, baby. <laughs> flown by because I woke up so late. I'm already late to the function that I'm currently getting ready to go to because I've been so lazy and so out of energy and I don't know if you guys relate to this but I'm pretty sure it's like a science that if you drink takes away some of your dopamine or serotonin or whatever so sometimes I have a little bit of a little bit of a depressy feeling the next day that's kind of hitting me currently. We're gonna get ready now. We're gonna do some makeup. I'm gonna play some music because I just want to get into the vibes of a good good energy, good aura. So you guys can watch me get ready. I already prepped my skin with some sunscreen because I'm gonna be outside, so. I also made a smoothie because I wanted to like regain the vitamins in my body and just have nutrients, so. Mmm, tastes like ass. Let's do the OOTD. So OOTD, we can throw who's going to a party and who's going to eat food. <laughs> Top, Princess Polly. Bottoms, Princess Polly. Necklace, Princess Polly. Other toes? Toes. Pedicure. This necklace, mommy. Earrings, Mariella. Hair, from my mom and dad. My turn. So now we're about to see what it looks like when someone's about to go eat. So this is not what it looked like. So this is my Lululemon to uh, belt bag. This She-Hulk Marvel shirt, because you already know. <laughs> Uh, Ritzia biker shorts, mm -hmm. some Puma socks from Costco, obviously, mm -hmm. and this clip from Amazon. Hair, moi. <laughs> Actually, no, Mary Ellis trained my hair, guys. Okay, period. It's cute. I know. And I'm gonna head out now. <laughs> Alright, bye! I keep losing to a moment. When I'm with you, I just can't focus. I love to hear your crazy theories about conspiracies on TV. Apologies for my uh, Pippi Longstock look that I'm rocking right now. The weekend's over. It's time to become a mature working woman for five days until I restart the fun. Just kidding. It's 3 p.m. and I haven't done anything yet, but that's the goal. Take advantage of our days and uh, get some shit done. So, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Apologies for my lack of content on YouTube. If you guys want to know what's going on with that, listen to my podcast. Don't have the energy to explain it here. Before I go, I do want to remind you guys of the Mighty Nose Patch. If you guys do want to get that 15% discount, go in the description below. The code is AlexAdams. And of course, you're going to get free shipping on orders over $35.
pictures. Also, my Instagram, TikTok, podcast, everything's down below, so don't forget to check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.